mentioned of a few elements. One of them is that half of the show is in Arabic, actually. Uh, so, you know, people in the Middle East, of course, feel very comfortable watching this show. The second element might be that it shows the other side that's pretty really human, interesting, that is kind of, you know, the bad guys and that's it. And I think that also the script was pretty good. The writers are um, amazing. So I don't know, for those of you who don't know, there's actually a super exciting acquisition recently for your studio, Far Away Road Productions, by Blackstone Backed Capital Media, um, which was just acquired by them. So how's it like being one of the most recent Israeli exits? I mean, we were talking a little bit before about, you know, the exit strategy that exists in high tech and startup world and how, I guess, there's some parallels in the content space. Can you talk about that a little bit? So, um, a few years ago, Israel was a startup nation. We are still a startup nation, but now I think it's an era for a content nation. Um, and
very passionate about. And I think this is the key, this is the beginning, this is probably the end. Amazing. So, I mean, I guess directly connected to that, you're working now on some super exciting things in uh, Marvel Productions, right? So, can you share anything about that? Any of the new interesting things that are going to hit the market soon? Yes? I can tell you a few things. We are, we are now uh, at the editing, we are ending, uh, we finished to edit a show, a new big show for Showtime. It's going to come out very soon. Uh, we have another uh, project, big project with Netflix, another two projects with Apple. Uh, we are, uh, we're doing a lot. We have uh, Fauda, hopefully Fauda 5. Really, really full, and we have another like 50 projects in development. Some of them are dealing with the Middle East, some of them with espionage, some of them are not really areas of uh, thrillers or espionage, and some are even kind of romantic comedies. You might be surprised to hear that. I think that both of us really like this kind of uh, genre romantic comedies. <laughs> how, how do you find the projects that you're interested in? I mean, what? How does the sourcing look like when you're out there looking for the next thing? Most of our shows or movies or what we're doing, it's it's about we really going we want to go for the true stories. It's very for us it's very appealing true stories and also things that about um, it's it's that, that that we want want to watch. You know, it could be comedy as Abby said. It could be like a, 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 I don't know. Thriller, it could be comedy, it could be whatever. But if we want to see it, if we want to watch it, so it's something that we probably want, we want to invest in. And also, it's supposed to have a truth inside. You know, that we will know that it's it's happened, it can happen, and it's also supposed to be driven uh, by dialogues, by and, and also by characters. One of the things that both of us really love, and this is the thing that does together with Fauda. Happened. Father started around 13 years ago in a nice, interesting evening in Louis in reserves. I mean, both of us served in an undercover uh, unit of the van. And I think that over there, when we understood the secret of double identity, meaning when someone can behave from the outside as A, but from the inside as a complete B. So, this is what we're trying to bring to the screen in many different stores. Not necessarily, again, undercover or enough, even about you know, personal life, families, etc. But the minute that you see the split in someone's identity, this is something that really is intriguing to us. And um, how do you keep, I mean, you're now playing basically on the global stage. You're talking about doing projects for Apple, for Netflix. How do you maintain the Israeli competitive edge by doing that? How do, we, how do you keep the Israeli competitive edge or advantage? We're just trying to challenge ourselves again and again. I mean, we, we have two shows, like we have two shows with the US, of course, we have found that here in Israel. I think one of the most <clears throat> fascinating things that we see is the difference in the culture. You know, in Israel, when you discuss something, it's usually people shouting at each other. In LA, we were very, very polite, and when someone wanted to say, like, Hell with that, it's so boring, and you say, oh, it's interesting. So, we, we got it, the, the English behind the English slowly, slowly, but it's, for us, it's always really fun to do things here in Israel, and to keep it as authentic as possible, and to keep the Israeli essence of it inside that. I'll tell you the story that happened to us. We had a huge meeting with all our representatives, with our lawyers, our agents, managers, and we now we started to talk about, argue about some content things. But we argue as we argue, we shouting at each other in the middle of the restaurant in LA, in Hollywood, and all the, our team looked at us and they were shocked. And then we went out to a bar near him to have fun. We're getting a call from everyone. So what you gonna separate? What's gonna happen? <laughs> no, we're just dancing now in the bar. Everything is okay. So there is.
cultural uh, differences, uh, but we now trying to uh, to be American as well. So all the questions that you were asking us were very uh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs>